Theater of Witness is a form of testimonial theater that I developed more than 30 years ago as a way to bring people together across divides of difference. I'm a woman who's grown up under occupation decade after decade. I've grown up resisting the enemy. I've grown up being the enemy in a land where life is cheap. The performers are people who have survived trauma, oppression, and or marginalization. No more to the military who were trying to kill my husband in El Salvador, who put out a death threat on him and searched for him with rifles and guns. Someone took Philip's life, and no one took it seriously. Sometimes I think the lives of black and brown boys don't matter to the police. They share their stories as a way to address some of society's most complex issues. First thing I knew was these blinding lights in my eyes. And then my back was slammed against the wall and I heard these racist police saying, you black Sambo, you ought to be back in Africa. When I was picking Patsy's headstone, I wanted to write on it, murdered by the IRA. But instead I had them engrave the words, Lord, may he be an instrument of your peace. I pray he did not die in vain. The productions are performed by the people themselves. Their stories woven into dynamic theater with music, film, and imagery as a way to cultivate empathy and understanding and to show that the human spirit can be resilient and thrive. I remember my grandmother saying, I may baby my boys, but my girls, they will be strong. Do we all hear with different histories coursing through our genes? Different music in our ears, different colors in our eyes. Over the years, we have worked with countless brave people who have shared their own personal stories of suffering and upheaval in order to give hope to others. Refugees and immigrants, people living in political sanctuary, prisoners and their families, survivors of inner city violence, former perpetrators and survivors of abuse, those living through war, teenage runaways, and men and women who are living with the losses and gains of aging. So that's how my father, at age 16, changed his name, changed his identity, and escaped up north. When I finish my 30 years of service, I want to be able to look in the mirror and not just see a good officer, but a good person. Always embedded in these stories is what I call the medicine that place of transformation and healing, the blessing in the center of the wound. Maybe all we can do is pray and love each other as though we really meant every last broken, battered one of us. Theater of Witness performers demonstrate amazing courage and bravery as well as vulnerability when they mine their deepest stories and then engage in creative dialogue with the other as a way to model peace, understanding, and transformation.